All right, we're back for the last, hopefully, episode of Deliver Us the Moon. I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault, and we are looking to finish off this game. Oh, there we go. Right now. So we are, you know, toward the end of the game now. I divided this last chapter into two parts because it just, it's a long one. I remember there's quite a bit to do still. <clears throat> Definitely uh, would have put us over my hoped for time. I should have done, I think, chapter three in two parts, but I didn't. Could have made this an eight part series, but <clears throat> it is what it is right now. So, we're looking for some helium so we can get this thing fired back up and get power going back to Earth, thus saving humanity. Isn't that a noble thing to do? You think humanity is worth saving? Leave a comment down below. I think it is. Most of the time. Looks like a Star Wars droid, doesn't it? You got wet floor signs everywhere. And this is why. Yeah, this totally sucks. No evacuation plans. God, these suits are pretty, uh, pretty airtight. Haha. <laughs> Lunar colonist dossier on Sarah Baker. She's insubordinate, perverses, revert, performs perverses, performs reverse engineering on ASCs, and can potentially compromise outward. I like Sarah. The establishment doesn't like her. I like her. That looks oh that's kind of cool looks like we should be able to use our little ase on it but i guess we can't all right so back in here don't know if there's anything in these or scanning doesn't look that way ah come on all right, well, let's head through. What a waste of water. People would kill for this on Earth. It's coolant. Water used for cooling the reactor. Some of the pipes must have burst. You think MacArthur left any helium? Uh, he wouldn't be so careless. But we should check, just to be sure. Go ahead, I'll join you in just a moment. Wait, where are you going? I'll assess the damage further on, see if the cooling is still operational. I'll be right back. All right, here's something we can open. Looks like they're hiding, uh, the stolen helium three that they've been processing. Okay. There's a lot of water in that room. Heading to the helium storage, so I guess we're going to the right spot. Oh, thank goodness. Storage locked down. Let's open the doors. Okay. 
empty canister. Whoa, did you see that? That was funny. side to the other on this so when you get this lined up make sure you can reach you'll see why here in just a second battery <laughs> it'll just make life easier we get some electrical <clears throat> currents running there so yeah, we don't want to land in that. That's instant toast. We'll reboot the systems. I see those things are turning. System's not nominal. Fine. Great. Perfect. So every time one of those yellow parts touches, you get power running through the water. Or no, it's I'm sorry, it's the blue part. There we go. Woohoo. All right, so we made it up. <laughs> Got a little toasted, but we're okay. Major stuff went down here, right? We can see all that. Let's take a look at what happened here. Isaac? Hey! They took it all! Storage is empty and... What's going on? Uh, stay there! Stay there! I just need to, um... Is that... Helium? No, it's... It's... Sarah, uh... It's for Kathy. Okay, she's she's waiting. She's on the ark, uh, and I just I just need to, to get this to her. Isaac, what are you talking about? Uh, three, three. We made we made we made three arcs for Outward. Yeah, they're gone. No, no, no. In the end, there was only enough fuel for two arcs. So so MacArthur moved the uh, the sick, the the cryo patients, to to the last one, uh, and Kathy Kathy's she's still on the ark, stuck here on the moon. Wait. But with this. Uh, I can, I can, I Isaac, can... I'm sorry, but Earth is our first priority. Earth's beyond saving, Sarah. With or without the MPT, our only hope, Kathy's only hope is out. Listen to me. We cannot give up on Earth. It's our home. Kathy's home. And think about Claire. She's made her decision, and I, I can't go back to Earth. But with Kathy and Outward, there's a, there's a chance to start over, a new dawn. We do what we must to keep them safe, even if they don't understand! But we can be wrong, Isaac. You said it yourself. MacArthur's wrong. Sarah! Outward is wrong! Sarah! Everything about this is... <gasps> what? Oh, boy. I... Uh, I... Uh, you, you must understand. I... Uh... I have to go. <laughs> well, he's a right bastard, isn't he? Alex? Alex! Access that terminal! Send it off! Isaac! No, 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 no! <laughs> she locked it in her room. Sarah! Sarah, don't do this! I can't let you take it. No! 
You stabbed her, man. Oh, Sarah. Oh, what have I done? Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, stay with me. Stay, stay with me. I'm sorry, Isaac. Okay, 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 okay. I'm come so in. sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. Don't, don't, don't worry. It's the only way I could help. Even if you'd hate me for it. Okay, easy now, Sarah. Listen to my voice. Don't, don't close your eyes. Hey, buddy. Sarah. Hey, hey, Sarah, no. Almost there. No, 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 no. no. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah? It's okay. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I like this. He's not a villain <clears throat> in the traditional sense of the word. Oh, no one needs to see this. Yeah, not, not a villain in the traditional sense of the word. He wanted to help his daughter. And you get that, you know? Alright, so these things open up using weight. So yeah, this area is a little complicated. Can we access that from the other side? I think that's the first step. Yeah. All right, so we go into this room and we open up the door for our Rolf. Poor Rolf, he he likes Sarah. There was definitely uh, some kind of romantic feeling between the two of them. That you could tell. All right, let's get this. Doesn't open. This opens, let's put it down. Yeah, see, that keeps it open for us. Switch out with this dead cell. And head on through. Yep. in here, but let's go ahead and cut these. And then what do we have in here? Oh, there it is. The Helium-3. sure if I need to take that battery back. I think we need it again.
There we go. Was there something we had to do over here? Monorail access terminal. Yeah, that already got us through that. And up here. Evacuation note. See, I think we push it down there if I remember right. Get that. I believe that's it right down there. We power it up like that. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Perfect.
this gets to be a little challenging here. <laughs> this is all platforming. I keep losing voice. I'm sorry about that. You gotta stay out of the uh, stay out of the line of fire and what got going on here? Oh cut an emergency. Okay. No oxygen, cool. Alright, so yeah, this is all platforming now. Oxygen things again, just like before. And we are just making our way up, up, and away. And the game literally gives you barely enough time. To make it from space to space, it's very well timed. <clears throat> at least we don't have to worry about getting fried anymore it's just a matter of getting either smashed or knocked off I don't know hasn't happened yet but I'm sure it will this time because you know I'm doing it on camera Now we get to jump over electrically charged stuff. So yeah, there's a little element of danger here. Woohoo! Barely made it, but we made it. And yeah, we're getting near the end here. See those vents? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, thank God. <laughs> Don't have to. way way back um, there we go oh there we go platforming here we are releasing reserves NPT overloading NPT overloading NPT overloading NPT overloading it took quite the hit there. All right. 
right now we're on a timer again and yet we can't run at all let's get this puppy aligned as quick as possible can't jump See how you almost keep blacking out, makes it a little challenging. We should have enough time. If I know what I'm aligning with. There it is. I thought I was looking for Earth. Come on, we're so close. So close. I don't think we're going to make it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay in there, stay in there. Get back in there. Yeah. That sucks. Alright, let's do it again. I forgot where we were going on that. I thought we were looking for Earth. So we just gotta zip over to the right a little bit. We have plenty of time to do it. The waste of 25 seconds or whatever it was going straight up did not help. Alright, see we're already heading in the right direction. And you'll see there's like a yellow band in the middle of the red circle that starts to fill up. That's what we want to get complete. As long as we're in there, it starts to fill. And you can see it's doing it now. Or it's a blue and a red band right now. Back in there. But it starts to retract as soon as we get out, which sucks. Back in there. I can barely keep my eyes open. Yeah, we're in a lot better shape than we were last time. Get up in there. This next one, that's it. Oh, we got it with 30 seconds to spare. Alright, we got it with just a few seconds to spare, about 30 seconds to spare. 
and we have restored power to Earth because we're awesome like that. Good old Rolf. watching the whole network come online. And there we go. I have delivered the moon. Music in the game is fantastic, I'll tell you that. Sound design in general is good. Music's great, voice acting, graphics, it's really nice. Even the memories, even though they're kind of rudimentary in how they're presented, but I get it. You know, it's a computer simulation of a human memory. It's kind of neat how it's done. Let's follow this. Uh, let's follow our little buddy here and see what he's found. in this area, but this is nice. Must be Isaac's quarters. Did he save Earth? He saved the woman he loved. No, even a little robot said, "I'm not crying. You're crying." No, I'm not crying, but yeah, it's, it's. <laughs> It's a beautiful moment in the game, I'll tell you that. It's a little sad eye again. hard struggling. Let's 
So it's not quite over yet. There is one more little scene to get through here. I, I don't remember if it's before or after credits, but tell me what you think in the uh, comments down below of the game. I thought it was uh, a very moving game, you know. Um, as the mystery unraveled, you got to see how, you know, the authoritarian nature of man comes up and the whole um, the selfishness of you know, we're going to use all this power for outward and we're going to rebuild humanity instead of saving Earth, which is in dire jeopardy and it's what they were sent up there to do in the first place is to provide power for Earth. Um, Isaac having to choose between two daughters that he obviously loves them both, but, um, you know, he chose his younger, sicker one over Claire, who was the more, the healthier daughter, the older daughter. And... The story of like Rolf and Sarah as they struggle to bring things together and do it in a way that um, you know under a severe time limit. I don't know if I can skip these or not. No, I can't. We're gonna have to sit through these together. So we'll just yammer back and forth. Well, forth, not back, because you guys can't talk back right now. But anyway, so yeah, the the story was great. You know, MacArthur, great character. <clears throat> the settings were neat, you know, the zero-G parts were a lot of fun, the no-oxygen parts were fun, um, there was enough variety in the game to keep it, you know, fairly interesting, it was, you know, a little repetitive as far as, you know, go get a battery and move it from one location to another to open up a new area or cut some lines here or, um, you know, line this up and line that up. I think some of the high points in the game were when we got flung out into space after that one explosion and we had to like fly back really fast. That reminded me of something, I think in one of the Dead Space games had something like that where you were kind of traveling very quickly through space, you know, trying to get back somewhere and dodging stuff as it's flying at you. I know I've seen that mechanic in other games, but I believe it was also in Dead Space. And I know I've mentioned Dead Space already and there's some Dead Space, you know, is coming out or just came out by the time you're seeing this, it's been out for a couple weeks, and I might already have a complete uh, Dead Space series up by now. Who knows? We'll find out. But, um, yeah, absolutely lovely game. And we've got Deliver Us Mars coming out later this year, which I believe is going to track all these people that went on those first two arcs. I, I guess they went to a new um, location on Mars is my understanding I haven't looked into the new game much but from what I can ascertain from this game and um, how it ended it looks like they fled so I'm guessing they went to Mars and I'm guessing you know will it be like this where you have nobody there and you're investigating another dead colony will it be sarah baker this time will it be somebody new uh, kind of interesting to see and what happened to isaac we don't really see what happened to isaac so he's still out there somewhere uh, unless i missed it if i missed what happened to isaac let me know all right well here we go it thanks everybody if you haven't done so please subscribe to the channel ring that bell for notifications and leave a like on the video it is greatly appreciated i will see you next month for another indie spotlight as i uh take a little time and figure out what to do next i want to keep games along this vein like the the edith finch one what remains of edith finch and deliver us the moon these fun story driven games so if you have any suggestions for the next one feel free to uh, leave them down below in the comments and I'll look into it, see if I already have it. And if I don't, if I get hold of it, remember I am on the PlayStation 5 platform. So if it's something not available on there, 
then I won't be able to do it, at least not for a while. All right? So thanks again, everyone. I will see you next time. Until then, peace. Thank you.